Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Mandy, and I am a dermatologist associated with South Beach Dermatology in Miami Beach, Florida. Let's talk about how to get rid of rolling scars. This is a very unpleasant outcome of chronic acne. Now, I would start out by saying that patients who have severe acne, which results in scarring, should probably see a dermatologist early in the course of their problem because they, that can be prevented with modern anti-acne therapy, okay? And we, that's always an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. However, let's suppose you've had bad acne and the outcome of this is sort of hill and valley scarring, which we call in, in dermatology atrophic scarring. So other people call rolling scarring. That scarring is very responsive to fillers. Fillers such as collagen, such as hyaluronic acid, uh, and such as silicone can really dramatically improve the appearance of scars. Some of those things can be done on a long-term basis, although most fillers are temporary and will need to be re-injected perhaps annually or semi-annually or uh, a little less frequently. There are some new fillers that have been used in scarring um, that have been recent in, our, uh, in approval, such as Sculptra and Radius, and those also will need to be repeated, though they last a little longer than the previous fillers. Uh, the other thing you can have is treatments, again, with light-based or laser-based technology. That is a method of generating new collagen and smoothing the skin. Uh, there are a variety of laser technologies that can be used, such as Fraxel, fractionated CO2 lasers, and there are a variety of other um, lasers that can generate collagen and improve the way scarring looks. Dermabrasion, not microdermabrasion, but real surgical dermabrasion is also effective in improving the appearance of scarring. However, microdermabrasion probably won't do much and acid peels are not very effective either.